Ever since Vladimir Putin annexed Trump's balls in Helsinki, <laughs> President Trump <laughs> has been having a rough time back home, right? Half of America thinks that he acted treasonous with Putin. Some Republicans are saying that he's being manipulated. And last week, Paul Ryan furrowed his brow extra hard. <laughs> so you know he means business. So things weren't going well for Trump. And then this story broke. Now the potential new bombshell involving President Trump and his longtime personal attorney. The president's longtime lawyer, former fixer Michael Cohen, secretly recorded a conversation with then-candidate Trump about former Playboy model Karen McDougal, who claimed she had a year-long affair with Mr. Trump more than a decade ago. Did Michael Cohen betray you, Mr. President? Tonight, President Trump ignoring reporters' questions. Cohen, who a year ago said he'd take a bullet for Mr. Trump, now says he puts family and country first. <laughs> Yo, it's, it's funny how everyone says they're willing to take a bullet for you until there's an actual bullet to take. <laughs> and then they're like, no, what I meant is I will take the bullet for you. Like, I, I will take it like a courier from one place to another. <laughs> oh, you thought I was gonna get shot? I'm your lawyer. We don't even hang out, dude. <laughs> so what we know right now is that Michael Cohen taped himself and Donald Trump talking about paying off a Playboy model for an affair which is the perfect audio book for America's road trip to hell. And honestly, I'm a little surprised that Cohen was secretly recording Trump. Because let's be honest, he doesn't look smart enough to work a tape recorder, <laughs> right? He doesn't have that kind of face. It's like if you came home and you caught your golden retriever rifling through your W-2s, you know? <laughs> You'd be like, backyard catchers, those are privates! <laughs> now, obviously, if Cohen was secretly taping his conversations with President Trump, that could be a huge deal. Although the president wants you to know that he has nothing to hide. President Trump took to Twitter this morning, weighing in on reports that his former personal attorney, Michael Cohen, secretly recorded conversations with him. The president said it's inconceivable that the government would break into a lawyer's office, then went on and called such taping totally unheard of and perhaps illegal. He ended by saying, quote, the good news is that your favorite president did nothing wrong. My favorite president? <laughs> Why would he bring up Martin Van Buren? I, like... <laughs> he has done nothing wrong. <laughs> nothing at all. <laughs> and you know what, what's funny about this story? Is that all of last week, Trump was like, Russia never could have taped me without me knowing. I'm too smart. And now he's like, whoops, my own lawyer taped me without me knowing. <laughs> Like, honestly, at this point, it would be weirder if Russia didn't have blackmail material on Trump, because everyone seems to have blackmail material on President Trump. <laughs> Michael Cohen has tapes. Access Hollywood has tapes. Howard Stern has tapes. Even Eric has tapes. <laughs> yeah, it's true. His most prized possession is a voicemail his dad left him during a butt dial. So... <laughs> so, Michael Cohen... <laughs> your heart's like... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, Michael Cohen's secret tape was already some bad news for Trump. But then he got even worse news. You see, the FBI released documents showing that they had good reasons to get a wiretap on Trump's former campaign aide, Carter Page. In other words, not a witch hunt. Or as Trump put it, total witch hunt. The president, without evidence, insists the documents vindicate his claim that the Russia probe is a partisan witch hunt, tweeting, looking more and more like the Trump campaign for president was illegally being spied upon for the political gain of crooked Hillary Clinton. But even some in the president's own party say the documents don't show misconduct in the investigation. I have a different view on it. I don't think it's brought of any part of any broader plot. The only plot here is the plot to interfere in our elections by the Russians. You know, it's amazing how Trump will hold up something that doesn't vindicate him at all and with complete confidence just claim that it does. Like, <laughs> like if Trump tried on a bloody glove and it fit perfectly, he'd just roll with it. He'd be like, that's right, these are my gloves. And as we all know, nobody with gloves this nice would commit murder, folks. <laughs> the defense rests. I'm going home. <laughs> so right now, Trump is in a bad way. They found his lawyer's secret tapes, and it turns out that the FBI did have a valid reason to investigate his people. Plus, the president just saw this rarely disturbing video of a waitress body slamming a perfectly nice customer. <laughs> He's having a bad time. It's a full-on barrage of problems. So late last night, Trump reacted by grabbing his tweet box and creating a problem for all of us. 
breaking news because overnight the president threatening war with Iran, language that raises new concerns. President Trump fired off this threat to Iranian President Rouhani, never ever threaten the United States again or you will suffer consequences, the likes of which few throughout history have ever suffered before. He was in all caps, which means he was yelling back at Iran. <laughs> what? What are you? Why is he explaining caps lock <laughs> to Fox viewers? They're old, they're not Amish. Like, come on. He's like, now there's also a yellow face with a smile on it. It's not a real person. That's a... Uh... But yes, President Trump has made an all caps threat to destroy another country. And remember, this is the same way he threatened fire and fury on North Korea, yeah? And then six months later, totally caved to Kim Jong-un, yeah? So there's a good chance that in a few months, We'll see Trump saluting Iran, and America will be under Sharia law. Yeah, he'll be like, I gave Iran everything they wanted, folks, and now <laughs> there will be peace, inshallah. Yeah, it's, it's either that. <laughs> it's either that, or America is headed for a war. But the good news is, you stopped thinking about Michael Cohen and Russia, so mission accomplished.